Right. Having uh, started Operation Security, at least in terms of talking about what it is, how do we start to do it? Well, of course, we have uh, a bunch of tools that we want to use um, to uh, protect stuff. But what is it that we are protecting? Well, we are protecting our assets. And what are the assets that we have to protect? Well, let's start with something small. Your password files. Um, that wasn't the first thing that came to mind, was it? Um, but yet, you know, the, the password files are part of your operations because it's what you use for access control to the systems in any case. Uh, you may have password files, in a sense, that store information about physical access uh, to your system. So, you know, do not forget those um, either. Um, but you will object, as we talked about in crypto, um, our password files are, in a sense, encrypted because they are only storing not the passwords, but the hash representation of the passwords. So, uh, they're safe, right? Well, uh, oh, and, and the other part is that everybody has to have access to the password files. Well, no, um, everybody doesn't. And as a matter of fact, if anybody does, uh, we're in danger. Um, because anybody who can read the password file, and that's all they've got to do is read the password file, uh, they can then take that and at their leisure do a, a brute force attack, which may take a while, or a rainbow attack, which may cost a little bit more, but uh, is going to be considerably faster. Um, a dictionary attack, uh, just looking for low-hanging fruit. If we haven't done a dictionary attack against our own password files and get on the case of anybody whose password you can determine with a dictionary attack, because you have told them not to use words, right? Um, anyway. Uh, so, we've... Uh, you know, there, there are attacks against the password files. And so, we have to make sure that nobody can read them. Well, if everybody is needing the password file because of needing to sign on to the system, how do we do that? Well, it's, they don't need to read the password file. The only thing that needs to read the password file is the login process. So, if we can just uh, give access to the login process, uh, nobody has to have read access to the files. And again, um, the, the sign-in, uh, the uh, password uh, management, function of the uh, uh, the login process uh, needs to have right access uh, but the individuals don't so you know everybody's permission should be no you cannot access the password file you can't read it you can't write to it but the uh, the management function of the login process yes it can read the password file. It can write to the password file. But that's it. So, um, again, you know, our, our protection there uh, is something that we need. Uh, you know, it, it's something that we need to protect. And we have to think of appropriate protections to do that. And appropriate to the sensitivity of this data and to the operations, the balance of, you know, uh, how do we work and yet be secure? Um, application program libraries. You know, somebody gets a uh, hold of our application libraries, uh, they know how our systems are working. 
Um, and so they can possibly find vulnerabilities. If they have right access to those libraries, they can introduce vulnerabilities. Um, the source code, uh, again, uh, vendor software. Uh, again, we have to protect it. We may have um, uh, legal requirements uh, in terms of how we protect other people's software that we are using and licensing. Um, we, uh, you know, have to look at, well, the operating system software, uh, the operating system itself, any uh, applications, functions that we have added to the operating system on behalf of the, uh, the original operating system vendor, um, the libraries, the utilities, um, again, proprietary packages that uh, we have purchased or licensed, and what is our requirement in terms of the, uh, the vendors and, and what they uh, demand of us to continue to use their software. How much protection uh, do we need to give it? Um, our communications software and hardware, uh, our systems main storage and secondary storage, uh, auxiliary storage media, uh, and again, we'll talk about that management of media and specifically um, and getting rid of the information. Uh, uh, and, you know, we talked about communications hardware, we got other uh, hardware. We've got our processing equipment. We've got our standalone computers. We've got our, our printers. And we've got our people. Our people are assets. And we need to protect our people. And um, we will be talking about that in more detail in the next section because it's important enough to require its own section.